Hmm. Well, look. This is the last video I'm going to make for today. Mm -hmm. See how I can do recording in just a few hours and troll and embarrass you all. It's what I do. Clearly. Because you're all using my ID. Copying me. God damn. So, who's ready for me to come back to work at MSNBC? Who's ready for me to come back to work at NBC? What about CNN? What about C-SPAN? You know, I was really good on TV. Apparently too good. Everyone wants to copy me. You want to be grifters. And yet, if their lives were so fabulous, why are they always begging for money? You know? Funny, because everyone wants to keep stealing from me. I can live within my means. I get a pension. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I don't have to work. Oh, I get a pension, darling. Because I've worked for it. I've been working for a very long time. So, Wendy Williams, how are you doing? Hmm, karma caught your ass? Good. Wendy, Mr. Wendy Williams. See, one of the things that I feel that I am doing, not just for my country, not just for my community, I'm exposing you all. You deserve it. Wendy Williams spent how many years talking about everyone on TV? <laughs> now look at you. Where's Kevin Hunter at now? Hunter. Is that, is that Hunter Biden? Because you guys are fucking fools, I swear. You just change your character, change your name, change the set. So I want to know, Azalea Banks, are you Candace Owens? Because you look like them. You're both men. You both look alike. You both talk the most insane shit ever. And then you like to argue with yourself. So when you see these celebrities in a beef, or elected officials in a beef, it's staged. They're arguing with themselves. You think Nikki Fraud Minaj and Mr. Meg the Stallion, they got some serious beef, huh? No, these bitches just need to sell a couple records. When the music's not selling, when nobody's subscribing to OnlyFans, they need money for that BBL. <laughs> wow. Yeah, y'all need money for BBLs. Where are your husbands? Aren't they rich and fabulous? Why can't they afford your lifestyle? I don't get it. You know. Uh, <laughs> We are, I have already dragged Rachel Dahl's hair through the filth and back. <laughs> but Wendy Williams, it's your turn. Yeah, you all get a turn. Cause you all have a turn in playing these roles on TV. So you get shut down, clearly. So you lose your job. So, Wendell Williams, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you dying? <laughs> you got Graves' disease, don't you? You made a grave mistake talking that shit, Mr. Wendell. Let's look at Wendy Williams passing out. Now, normal people do not pass out on a set because somebody was coming to get that soul, darling. He sold it. Here we go. Look at them, they're afraid. Who are you afraid of, darling? Uh, uh, costume contest, we do it every year. It's always a lot of fun, let's get started. Our first caress. Uh-oh, what do you see, Wendy? Is that somebody coming for you? <laughs> you know, karma will catch you. Catch you in the worst way possible. I mean, clearly. Because Wendy likes to invite people on their shows. Remember when Judge Joe Brown cussed Wendy ass out to the dirt? Yes, darling. Let's talk about it. Because Wendy Williams talks about everybody, sir. Wendell, where is Kevin Hunter? Where is your money? <laughs> All your children smoking crack? <laughs> Cracky. <laughs> I like their fall, you know. That's the funny thing, they all do the same shit. 
So let's see. Remember when Judge Joe Brown cussed your ass out, Wendy? Wendell, Mr. Williams. Judge Joe Brown. Now, granted, he's playing a TV show, too. They all are. But sometimes, you know, people get tired of your shit. Oh, wait, no, that was Judge Mathis. Oh, yeah. Cuss you down to the dirt. And I'm here for it. But your bullshit, not here for it. Oh, wow. 15 minutes long. Well, we're just going to play the five minute video. That's all this bitch needs is five minutes. We air it out. Look at this dirty wig. Muppet baby. Ask you to do that too. I don't feel as if there's anything wrong with that judgment. I'm you know the well, I'm I'm look, this I want to talk with you because here on this show, whether it's TV or radio, one thing that Wendy Williams does is keep it real with her audience. Now, my audience knows all about me and what I've been through and what they, they know don't know. I go into explicit details in my book. Now, that might not be true according to you about this woman that you that allegedly you slept with and allegedly got her. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say something to them. Don't explain to me. Let me say
Oh, to you and to everybody listening. All right, yeah. You, you, are, you, you are, are the. You thought you were gonna get me on here? No, I agree. You, you are, are the Tyson Beckford. You, 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 you got the wrong person. You are the Tyson Beckford of the protest. I'm not somebody uh, soft. I'm not somebody soft guys you didn't had on here that you think you can talk anything to. I come from the hardest streets of America, and if you think you're gonna send me back to the streets, fueling these nonsensical rumors that come. I'm not you. Jackson jumped on a preacher in L.A. You didn't see that? No. You were just too fixated on drugs and sex to discuss oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Is that your oh. problem? I you got a real that, fixation with drugs and sex, and that's all you talk about from what I understand tell on us, your show. And now we know that why you had all those eight abortions. I don't know. Right now. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, do you have any spirituality in you at all? Tell us about the church. What church should you go to? Tell us about the church. You need God in your life. Tell us about the church. And I'm not mad. Anyone that knows my show knows that I don't take any disrespect, or I don't let anybody say anything they want to me without me checking them real strong and real tough. And that's what you get in the day, Wendy. You're getting a real good checking, all right? Which is what you need. And quite frankly, it's overdue. I agree. Because Wendy Williams have nerve to be always talking about people when they are the biggest crackhead of New Jersey. Okay? Wendell Williams, where's your husband? Did he leave? <laughs> He's been cheating on you? But Lord, that mouth, I tell you. That mouth runs, 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 runs. Run, 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 runs. Hmm. Let's see who else cussed you out. Did Whitney Houston cuss you the fuck out? But that's what's wrong. Everything that Mathis said is 100% true. You don't let anybody disrespect you. You don't let anybody talk crazy to you any kind of way that they fucking feel that they want. And that's what Wendy Williams is used to, trying to embarrass somebody. Who's embarrassed now? Where's your TV show? Canceled. Where's everything? Canceled. So next time you wanna get up on TV and pretend to be a black woman, sir, have, have several seats in hell. I will roast you for <laughs> no problem. That's what I do. Let's see. Now I think this cuss out was epic. Epic. You hear me? Wendy William, <laughs> Wendy Houston cusses out Wendy. You deserve it. You deserve a lot more that's coming your way. I can tell you that. Okay, wait a minute. Did Mariah come for you? Let's play that. I love it. I'm here for it. Cause that's your problem. You have a nasty attitude. You got nerve to be out here pretending to be a black woman. We don't talk like that. We don't act like that. We don't look like that, sir. Cut the cap. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Remember, um, Tom Arnold, you guys are in a good place now. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Her ex-husband, Tom Arnold, remember they were married for a moment, and he was given the assignment from the Hollywood Reporter to review Roseanne's debut last night. The shade of it all. That is so, it made, and I was like, oh my God, after, well, I'm not supposed to talk about it. But, uh, yeah. After I guess they're going to get Harvey Weinstein to review uh, Rose McGowan's next show. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out See, Tom didn't give it to you back. Harvey Weinstein? Oh, President? I didn't read it. Well, I, I don't did. like talking about husbands, right, Wendy? Uh -oh. Well, I don't mind talking about husbands. I mean, we got some non-violent drug offenders in this room right now. But, you know, so, look, you know, let's be honest. Let's be honest. There's a lot of people who are doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. Addicted to based on your name's passages and all Drug these things. You're missing the work. Okay. You're missing out of the bathroom right while I'm at the studio. As I told you, I've never used cocaine in my life. Are you following me? Listen, never used cocaine. Now, let's talk about fueling your stuff. You 
on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to cocaine. Absolutely. And secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms? Tell me. These nasal passages you keep in your child oh, for your cocaine God. addiction. He was saying that I was doing dance with the stars and like, they never asked me, so yeah. I, I don't know why they did that. Would you? Um, probably like 10 years. In 10 years? Well, not 10 years, but I feel like you should be on Dancing in the Stars when you fall off. Oh, when you fall off? So, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! Who's on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, ha ha! <laughs> 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 it plays you, honey, on the whole show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a rumor that Janet um, uh, was might be the new judge on X Factor. Has she told you about it? No. There are lots of rumors, as you know. They said I was going to be. They said so many people. I so I don't know what's going on. To be honest with you, I think that um, anybody in the Jackson family could make a good judge on the on the X Factor. I really believe that because the family knows. knows the Excuse me, your soon-to-be ex-wife. Well, we'll get into that in just a moment. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one thing at a time. But they are getting a divorce. The divorce is not finalized. You still wear your ring? You got something on your hand, too, so I ain't talking about No, this is... <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're we talking about Jeremy. Yes, the clap back is real. Oh, the shame, the shame. So... Should you really be on TV talking about everybody, making lies about everyone, selling stories to the Inquirer, darling? Yeah. Did you get ran up on at the studio? Were you afraid? Hmm. Let's watch while I'm putting on my laundry. Wendy Williams getting dragged by their guest. Because who does that? Besides Ellen, besides Oprah, invites people on their show, allegedly, it's not their show, to trash everyone, to make up lies, to slander people. Are you still saying that Judge uh, Mathis uses coke? You use coke. You're talking about people on drugs. You're on drugs. Now, where's your husband? Roseanne wants to know. <laughs> we all want to know. Where's Hunter at? Where's your crackhead son? Always want to talk about people's children. You shouldn't be talking about people's children. That's bad karma, you see. And now we see that karma has come for you. Tell me how you love that. Now, the full episode of uh, Whitney dragging you. I don't know, it's like 24 minutes long. I don't have time for it right now. I have things to do. But I'm just going to pull up you getting dragged. Omarosa, did Omarosa drag you for a filth, honey? Yes, they did. And I am here for it. Celebrities who have insulted Wendy Williams on their own show. I told you, I'll come Roman on your show. Is probably one of the most manufactured artists out here. Selena's not a singer. <laughs> There are many talk show hosts in the world today. Some of them are overly popular. Some are more than happy to tell the truth, but in a satirical way. And some are just ones who love to be controversial and don't care about anyone that they go and insult, which often leaves a bad taste in various people's mouths. One of the biggest examples of this is Wendy Williams, who has more than once gone off on tangents and rants on her show to blast celebrities big and small, which has resulted in her getting insulted right back. Allow us to show you some of them. And as always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win Black China. He also says that China's career took off after being with him. Uh, duh. I mean, you brought her straight from the pole. Let's start with a light one that perfectly shows Wendy's personality in regards to just ripping into people for really no good reason and thinking they won't bite back. The talk show host talked about Black China and Rob Kardashian's relationship and really showed that she didn't think Black China was the right woman for him. She referred to her as a woman who comes from the pole. She then included Black China's mother, Tokyo Tony. And when you meet her mother and know that she comes from a family of pole workers, like, all they smelled was your money, Rob. China probably never loved you. It's very fun to watch her and her mom, Tokyo Tony, come up off the backs of people who don't see through their ruse, said Wendy Williams. Black China responded to this on Instagram with a picture of Williams and the caption, Wendy, 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 you lost your mother mind. How dare you speak on me, my fiance, and my mom like you were at the Christmas table with us. I find it so funny how you love to talk about Rob and his insecurities. Like at the time, he wasn't a fat 400 pound on the radio. Yeah, that happened. And it was something that was absolutely I Wendy's. Wendy is it's fat one thing to say that Black China isn't this the right guy for Rob Kardashian. Pounds. That's fine in its own right. But to do what she did, not so much. She deserved this backhand and there are many more to come. Nicki Minaj. And it's not about about you doing your job. There are people who report the news and there are people who do it with an evil intent in their heart, viciousness. And I pray for you because I know you're hurting and I know you must be sick and humiliated. Nicki Minaj is without a doubt one of the biggest names in rap and is easily one of the queens of rap as well. She even had good news recently that she was pregnant, which is something very special for her, no doubt. So the last thing she needed in her life was Wendy Williams saying some downright offensive things. After Williams referred to Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, as as a killer and sex offender, Minaj fired back, calling her demonic and vicious. It's not about doing your job, Minaj said on Queen Radio. There are people who report the news and there are people who do it with an evil intent in their heart. Viciousness. And I pray for you because I know you're hurting and I know you must be sick and humiliated. She later added, I don't know that in our society you have to be plagued by your past. I didn't know that people can't turn over a new leaf. I didn't know that your viciousness and evilness was this deep rooted. In the case of Wendy, it most certainly seems to be that way. After all, she went after her husband in a terrible manner and Nikki's reaction was more than justified. Mariah Carey. On one hand, I don't feel she, like she needs to make any more music. She's got such a body of work, and we all know the words to it. And I think that, you know, for a woman who's as fragile as she is. <laughs> Continuing on with prominent female singers, Mariah Carey is one who has had a long career, and her voice has carried her to many heights across all sorts of media. And yes, that did indeed include her short-lived movie career. It happened. Let's move on. Williams was one of the many people talking about Mariah Carey's reality show, Mariah's World. But she had some criticisms, calling the singer too fragile for reality TV, and suggesting Lee Daniels also thought it was a bad move. The singer took to Instagram and Twitter to respond to them by posting three videos, one with the caption, He's up, that's fragile. Don't come for us unless we call for you at Wendy's show. In one of the videos, you can reportedly hear Lee Daniels saying, I'm the that's fragile, okay? This is another case of Wendy overstepping in regards to the context she was trying to convey. To insult a reality show is one thing. Many people hate reality shows. It's fine to feel that way. But to say Mariah is fragile, to insinuate that someone else felt that way, and then be proven that they didn't feel that way, that's Wendy at her worst, throwing things together to hope that they stick, and she rightfully got called out for it. Ariana Grande. You know, she's 21. She'll forever look 12. I, I don't mean that in a, a good way. I mean that in a, you know, it's nice to look younger than you are, but when you look too young and then you're short. In 2015, Williams was accused of body shaming Ariana Grande, which even if you only loosely know Grande and her various talents, that's not a good thing because of how popular she is. But how far did she go? Well, she kept digging her grave with every word. She's 21. She'll forever look 12, Williams reportedly said. And I don't mean that in a good way. It's nice to look younger than you are, but when you look too young and you're short, she's only 4'11". I don't look at her as, like, a woman. She's only, like, 4 feet 11? <laughs> like, get, get, get. I don't look at her as a, like a woman. The comment fueled so much backlash that the hashtag cancel Wendy Williams was trending. Think about that. Her comments were so hated that fans flooded Twitter and got a cancel movement going. That's crazy, but it shows both the love for Grande and the hatred from Williams' words. Because they were indeed terrible. Who says that about someone? It's one thing to say they look young. There are many who have that ability. But to go from that to straight up insulting her and blasting her because she's below average height? Do you have nothing better to do with your life, Wendy Williams? Apparently not. And that's why she should be canceled. Whitney Houston. Is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. You're supposed to go child about that. Don't ask me no questions like I'm a child. I'm a child, Whitney. Oh yeah, this is real. The late Whitney Houston was a beloved figure in many ways, and not just because she had an amazing voice. She was special all around. But that, of course, led to her premature passing due to an overdose and a coronary artery disease. But sadly, we're not just talking about Whitney, we're talking about Wendy. The former radio show host had a long feud with the legend. The two got into a heated argument on air in 2003 because 
Williams continued to press questions about Houston's alleged drug problem. Eventually, Houston said to her, if this were back in the day in Newark, I'd meet you outside. You are very defensive, Whitney. I have to be, Wendy. You talk about me every f***ing day. Whitney, you, you keep yourself in the headlines. No, Wendy. Y'all keep me in the headlines. I'm not my business. I try to maintain what I got. Now you can take this many ways, including Wendy doing her job to try and get Houston to confess to the problem that eventually took her life. But as in all things, there is a time and a place, and this wasn't it. And pushing constantly to get that was not just wrong, it was almost inhumane. Plus, if we're being honest here, we think it would have been fun to see Wendy throw down and try to teach Wendy some manners. Beyonce. One of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. She, you know, Beyonce can't talk. Beyonce sounds like she's got a fifth grade education. She can't talk. Come on, Wendy, you know better than to go after Beyonce. It's Beyonce. In 2012, the talk show host described herself as a Beyonce fan and expressed her intent to watch her HBO documentary. However, she felt the beehive sting after she made a comment about the singer's voice. I'm watching because fortunately, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says, she told her audience at the time. You know, Beyonce can't talk. Beyonce sounds like she has a fifth grade education. She can't talk. Fans were also buzzing after Williams alleged Queen Bee and Jay-Z had paid Rachel Roy to store up some drama ahead of the release of Lemonade. So Rachel Ray, first of all, you're not this fighting girl, Williams began, unless you're on Jay-Z and Beyonce's payroll and they pay you to mix it up for, I guess, sales for the Lemonade. That's just stupid on various levels. And the Beyonce can't talk thing is absolute garbage. Wendy's honestly the one who can't talk because all she spews is hate. Chris Brown. Chris Brown has a disease. His disease is he has half a brain. I really think he has half a brain. It's not working properly. When it comes to Chris Wendy Brown, Williams. there's little doubt that some of the things he's herpes. done is bad. So much so that it's almost fair to blast him for the things he's done in the past. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you just blast him for no reason. The singer's yeah. also known for having a couple of feuds, including a famous one with Drake that apparently came to blows due to both of their connections with Rihanna. This feud with Wendy Williams started when Perez Hilton tweeted, I hope Ad Chris Brown doesn't watch. I'm talking about him on the Ad Wendy Williams show today, and I'm going in, according to E! News. That definitely got Chris Brown's attention, so he tweeted, thanks for the publicity. Your insecurities are manifested by your hatred. Princess Perez and Wicked Witch Wendy. He also called them flunkies. This led to a few more tweets between the singer and Perez Hilton, but eventually the feud fizzled out. You might be wondering, wait, wasn't this supposed to be about Wendy? Well, it is in its own way. Wendy allowed Perez to go off on Chris, which proved that she too had a bone to pick with Chris Brown. Plus, you don't call someone Wicked Witch Wendy unless you have some strong feelings against them too. Will Smith. Wendy Williams, you don't know me. I'm not your punching bag. You gon' blow me. Uh, girl, better leave me alone before I buy your radio station and send you home. Yep. She really did insult Will Smith, and not for the reasons you're thinking. The movie star stayed pretty clean when he was rapping, but he did create some diss tracks. One called Mr. Nice Guy addressed Williams, who also gossiped about him. The lyrics include Wendy Williams, You don't know me, I'm not your punching bag. You gon' blow me up, girl, you better leave me alone before I buy your radio station and send you home. Oh yeah, Will Smith bringing the heat. And a special thing to note here is how not only he did it, but how he showed the character, or lack thereof, of Wendy. Because even when she was on her radio show, she was never afraid to go after people and just hurl insults at people. When you're an insult comic, that's one thing. But when you're a host who should be doing more than that, not so much. And of course, this was Will Smith in his pre-big time Hollywood actor days. He's much richer and more powerful now. So had Wendy still been in that radio station, he really could have bought her out. And there you have it, a look at the various celebrities that Wendy Williams has feuded with, and many who insulted her in various ways, including on her own show. Which of these beefs do you think was the most insane for Wendy to start? Which ones do you remember personally? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel. Okay, what's up? Tony Gomez is probably one of the most manufactured. So if you don't know, Mr. Wendell Williams is a man from New Jersey, allegedly, and loves to talk about people. Yeah. Copying me with the coffee mug, want to spill the tea? That's your problem. So Wendell Williams, whose idea are you using to be on TV to talk about everybody? Hmm. Let's talk about your husband, who's a sex offender, who is known to stalk women on the set. I mean, you got so much mouth, I swear. People should know that you weigh 300 pounds, darling. I have seen your dirty behind. In lockup, fat bastard. God damn, you're fat. You wanna copy me? Be healthy. Be happy. Stop talking about everyone. Kevin Hunter harasses women. And I'm pretty sure Wendy is in on it too. Probably harasses them himself. Because uh, Kevin Hunter 
What is he about, really? How Kevin Hunter became homeless, broke, and dumped by their mistress. Did Wendy Williams' ex-husband spend all of his divorce money? Who got the last laugh? Mm-hmm. So is your husband brokey broke? Is he homeless? <laughs> How you living? Mm-hmm. Sharina Hudson. Oh, they took all your money. That's why you don't have a TV show. You don't have any fucking money. And they allege that they were not going to be on TV anymore because they didn't want their husband and the mistress to get the money. Kevin Hunt is officially homeless and over, going to jail next. <laughs> Kevin Hunter files for bankruptcy and goes homeless. Brokey Brokes. Brokey, Brokey, Brokeys. Tell me about your husband. You don't want to talk about your husband, do you? I mean, you have so much. Talk about your crackhead son, Cracky. What's your son doing on drugs? You always want to accuse everyone of being on crack when you are the crackhead. Make it make sense. Sir, get off the stage. You're not a black woman. You're not even black. What are you doing on TV, running your mouth? Karma is crazy. Wendy Williams, you know what? I do believe karma has come for you and your husband, your crackhead son. Porque para ti un desayuno sin salchicha no es desayuno. Ahora puedes alegrar tu mañana con dos de tus favoritos o combinarlos por solo 3.33. Para pa pa pa. I don't know why that's After in Spanish. After months of not hearing anything from Wendy Williams, she has made headlines again. And while a lot of people were hoping she's doing great, sadly her health has deteriorated and she is not doing well at all. But she is not the only one going through it because Sharina Hudson and Kevin Hunter have also gone deeper down the trenches and it is over for them, literally. Now, Wendy was last seen around New York in March 2023 and her appearance was obviously frail and that left a lot of people concerned concerned about her well-being. And this was months after several videos made rounds like this one. Hey, Wendy. Hi. How you doing? Fine, thanks. You looking good? Thank you. Can I have your hand, please? Can I have your hand? Oh, my God. Somebody's hand. Somebody's hand. Somebody. Thank you. It was also around this time that Wendy spent a night out and she drank her way from Fresco by Scotto in New York City all the way to the gay bar, the townhouse. According to Rob Shooter, who spoke to Page Six, Wendy looked lonely sitting by herself, but then lit up like a Christmas tree when she saw someone she knew. He also discussed their run-in in an episode of his podcast, saying Wendy invited everyone over to her table. Apparently, Wendy kept saying she wanted to get drunk and she wasn't hiding her drinking at all. Best believe that she she was totally out of it because following the dinner, the group made their way to the gay cocktail lounge where Wendy asked the doorman, do you watch the Wendy Williams show? I'm Wendy Williams. And ever since then, nobody has seen or heard from her until just recently when her old friend and radio personality, Miss Jones of the 94.7 The Block Morning Show revealed some new details. Miss Jones revealed that she attempted to pay Wendy Williams a visit after months of her colleagues telling her that she should check on her. But when she went to her Manhattan apartment building, she told a doorman that she was there to visit Wendy Williams, and he allegedly responded, you're a couple of months late. She moved. According to Ms. Jones, when she started asking around the building for additional details, she was told by others, well, you know what happened? She was getting better, she was coming around, and then she started getting sick again. Ms. Jones also said that because her family's in Florida and people were coming in her circle that they weren't familiar with and they didn't know, like, they couldn't get access to her when they wanted, they moved her down to Florida. So she she is allegedly down in Florida with her son recuperating because her health seems to be deteriorating. Wendy's house in New York is not up for sale, so maybe she just wants to get better and will probably move back to New York. But unfortunately, it may take a little longer because reports are saying that her health apparently has deteriorated in the last couple of weeks. Recently, a clip that Wendy's team submitted for use as a promo for the Women's Expo event, which Wendy ultimately backed out of attending at the last minute, also leaked. And from the video, you can tell that things have been pretty bad for a while. First of all, Wendy started by saying that she is still married to her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. You know, the one she divorced and left with nothing. Hi, it's me, Wendy 
Wendy Williams, but my real name is Wendy Hunter. I'm married to a hunter. Anyway, Wendy Hunter Williams, Biden, is that um, what you're married to? Hunter? I'm going to be at the Women's Empowerment Expo. It's going to be Saturday, May 20th. Please be there. It's very important. She then trailed off and continued on, seemingly off script, saying, They told me it would only take like like 20 minutes. Please, let me tell you something, girls. It's going to take an hour. I've got so much stuff to talk to you about, okay? So I'll see you there. Bye. Clearly, you can see from the video that Wendy was not okay, and her team submitted that video to be used, and they insisted that she was fine. Well, the expo told them that the video was unusable and pushed back on it, saying that Wendy seemed completely disoriented. According to a close source, the expo team pushed back in part because they believed that the video of Wendy claiming to still be married to her ex, Kevin, would really upset people, especially the women's expo audience who were all about women's empowerment. Speaking of her team that has only been purely taking advantage of Wendy, her son Kev Jr. also slammed them and accused them of taking advantage of her wealth, fame, and inability to make sound decisions. Kev specifically said that he believed Wendy's health had been pushed aside while others around her were profiting from the projects she's involved in. He even said in an interview with The Sun, as hard as it is seeing her being taken advantage of, I know that if I'm making sure she as a person is okay, that is the important thing because eventually she She's going to realize the craziness that's been going on. According to Kev, what's been made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. And in his opinion, that should not be a priority at all. Now, it's true that Wendy moved from New York months ago because in the interview with The Sun, Kev Jr. also said, I can confirm that Wendy Williams is not in the hospital as reported. I can also confirm that she is not in New York. So other than Kev Jr., Wendy's brother, Tommy, also revealed details about Wendy's health after seeing her in Florida while she was filming a documentary. He told the U.S. Sun, this is not a woman who is in the right frame of mind to get a show going. Why are you even here? Do you see the condition she's in? Does it look like she's ready to start a podcast, for goodness sake? It doesn't. And we are all going to bear witness to this. This guy, Will, is ponying Wendy around. Travel here, travel there, let's go make this money. And I don't care if you're making sense because everybody knows who you are. In addition, in the months leading up to her health getting worse, Wendy also managed to create a secret bank account not connected to her official accounts, which are handled under a conservatorship. But here's the thing. She didn't even know, or maybe she had forgotten, how banks actually operate. Based on reports, she opened the account. And the thing she didn't understand is that people can't transfer money to it without her bank account information. She wanted to use the new account to collect money when she sold some of her things. And she was telling people who were inquiring how to eventually pay her that they should walk into the bank and just say it is for Wendy Williams' account to deposit the money. Unfortunately, her plan didn't work out. But you know, with Wendy being locked out of her account, that also meant that Kevin and Sharina were locked out as well. And they are both reportedly doing extremely badly. Kevin also tried to take Wendy to court because he was falling behind on his bills. He put the house he was living in with Sharina up for sale. And he also took out two loans on two luxury cars through a company called Flex Wealth. He was also hit with a lawsuit from UBS Bank accusing him of refusing to pay up on his credit card and in the lawsuit, UBS said Kevin applied for a Visa signature card in 2014. But Kevin breached the deal by failing to make the required payments. UBS also said Kevin owes over $20,000 plus attorney fees. Now, when the money stopped trickling in, the relationship with Sharina also took a hit. In fact, there were even reports that Sharina dumped Kevin after the well ran dry. Now, I am hearing that her ex-husband Kevin and Sharina are no longer together. And you know what? Well, oh, come on now. The money gone. Guess what? Sharina herself is also in more legal trouble of her own as she was slapped with a lawsuit from Synchrony Bank for defaulting on a TJ Maxx card. The amount is a little over $3,000, which was nothing when they were living off of Wendy. But now that Wendy is not cutting them any checks, both Sharina and Kevin are dead baroque. They are actually struggling to raise their daughter, Journey, who, as we know, was also getting the best life courtesy of Wendy's money. Child, karma is really 
clearly not taking her chances with these two. Anyway, now that there's confirmation from Wendy's friend Miss Jones that Wendy is at least with her family members and no one is taking advantage of her or her deteriorating health, at least there's hope. Well, Miss Jones did also throw in a bit of shade when she was updating people about Wendy, saying, Wendy, if you listening, you won. Diddy going to jail for Easter. It was true. Everything you said. And Kev can't get your money neither. Wendy, the judge shut him down. You can stop now, Wendy. The jig's up. Baby, it's not the best news, but what are your thoughts on the update we have on Wendy? Are you glad that she's back at home in Florida? And what do you think of Kevin and Sharina going further down the trenches? Oh. Sound off in the comment hmm. section below. So Mr. Wendell is in Florida. That's funny because I was just in New York. I was just in New York. Uh, when was I back in New York? Last year, around this time. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was March. So, the moral of the story is, you can't say whatever you want about people. You cannot lie on people. You can't make up stories, call your fake media, and do all these things. Karma will come for you. And apparently it's already came. How many times? You know, I wish I had a video of Omarosa completely dragging them, you know. But I have things to do. That's why I'm able to show you all how I'm able to get all my stuff done and investigate and troll and mock them because they're worthless. And this is who you're giving your money to? These are your elected officials? Mm-hmm. So if you wanna be healthy, eat healthy. So I have the soup, vegetable minestrone soup. And then I did my beans, my red beans from scratch. And then I have my lovely turkey bacon. And of course, rather than the, all these huffers wanna drink alcohol all the time, drink some water, sparkling water. Now, Netflix. Netflix doesn't always pay people. They didn't pay Rachel Dahls there when they came on there with their lies. So Wendy, Wendell Williams, is he broke? Brokey broke? Okay. You know, they had a movie out in 2021. Who watched that shit? Let's look at Brokey Broke. IRS file Runs their open. mouth. Where's the money? Where's your husband? Snap your W-2 and file your taxes 100% free. I just think Roughly it's hilarious. percent of taxpayers qualify. 1040 and I mean, Wendy has made a lot of money, allegedly, now. off Over the back of talking about Wendy everyone. Williams says she's out of cash. Wendy Williams is broke. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. The former daytime talk show host is opening up about her troubled life. The 59-year-old has battled Graves' disease and spent time in rehab for alcohol abuse. Did you drink this whole thing today? Her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., is worried. Something wrong going on. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. In a new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? premiering February 24th, friends and family grapple with Wendy's struggles. Anybody could look at her and tell this is not just alcohol. There's something more going on. I think that the guardianship system is broken. We are her family. And you tell me that I'm not capable of taking care of my sister. What would you do? What should I do? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. So Wendy Williams, he's broke. He's out of money. He goes to the bank, he can't even get his own money out. I wonder who shut your accounts down because they're not in your name, stupid. Wow. Wendy Williams, how you dying? Now I know y'all like, oh, that's evil. No, it's not. If you had your ID stolen from a crazy crackhead man in a dirty wig, how would you feel to see karma come for them years later? If all they did is spend their whole life talking about you, making up lies, talking about everyone, why would you feel bad for them? It's called karma. You cannot just do whatever you want and think that it's okay. 
And that's why I show you guys, I don't even have to raise a fist to you. I don't do anything to you. You do it to yourself. You destroy yourself. All I do is let people see what you are really about. You weigh 300 pounds. Damn, Wendy Williams. Back away from the buffet, fat bastard. See how I'm eating healthy? Try it sometimes. The next time you want to copy me and you want to get your fat ass on TV and pretend to be a black woman, I suggest you think twice if you can think at all. Because Lord knows, where's your money? Where's your husband? Where's your cracked out son? Where's your whole life? It's gone. It's, it's done, Deb. Run your mouth now. Run that mouth. I bet you won't. You have ran your mouth for so long about everyone. Wow. And I told them it's not me. Don't be angry at me. When I am on TV and I have a talk show, I invite you and I tell you exactly what I'm going to talk about. All your corruption, all your lies, all your scandals. So I just want to know, how's it feel? Are you having problems? You have a grave problem? Well, you know, you're out here saying that people have diseases. But you have a disease now. You have many diseases. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, the whole nine. Because you are passed around, honey. You have been passed up and down the New Jersey Turnpike. Do not make me come to Elizabeth. Do not make me come to Union or Rawway or any little place, you little gutter behind. Are you on Jersey Shore? You even let Snooky, <laughs> Snooky got you. And you know, Snooky's a fake Italian, so I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, everyone knows you. Walking the boardwalk in Atlantic City, looking for men. <laughs> Were you at the Trump Casino <laughs> looking for men? <laughs> so I feel as though you are all getting what you are owed. And you're lucky. You're lucky I don't have a TV show. Because child, please, you wouldn't last a minute. You'd be crying. You'd be running off that set. Because I'll just invite all your friends. You don't have any friends then again. You're lonely. You're lonely. You're so lonely. Well, when you sit in a glass house and you throw stones, how does it feel? So thank you to everyone who has dragged that man for filth. It's about damn time. So that's why I'm making these videos. And I'm just getting started for black history. Because I'm sick of you want to be black women. Y'all are men. You're not even black. Wow. But I, if you want to put on a, a dusty wig and some spray tan, you do you, boo-boo. But you know what's funny? Who else lives in uh, Florida? Could it be Carolyn Denise Bowen Curry, AKA Rachel Dahls here in Tallahassee, Florida? Cause I already talked to the police down there about you. And they all told me, I said, do you really think that that's me? That is a dirty wig and some spray tan, okay? So now I know that you're in Florida, good. Did you get the uh, paperwork served on you? You did. Okay, making sure. So how does it feel that uh, Wendy Wendell, where's your money? <laughs> where's your mansion? Why are you in New York? Do they chase you out of New York? As they should. Everybody's tired of your mouth. It runs like a faucet about everybody. Talk about you. You, you can barely talk these days, huh? Well, well, thank God when I turn the TV, I don't have to see your ugly man face anymore on it. Good Lord. But remember, Wendell Williams has a T on everybody except for themselves. So I had a great day so far getting all my laundry done. Uh, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna make a cheesecake. I have some work to do, you know. But this is gonna be a month long celebration. So y'all better get used to getting trolled because you like to troll everyone. Better used to be getting mocked 
exposed. So why don't you call up your boyfriend, Candace Owens, and get you um, a YouTube channel, get you a talk show. You want to talk about everyone. Why don't you call your hairdresser, Rachel Dalzier, see if they can hook your wig up. I doubt it. <laughs> Let's see. It's funny because I tell people that you characters, you're stupid. You don't even change your name. Hunter, Kevin Hunter. You are Miss Kevin Hunter. Does Hunter know about that? Does Hunter Biden know about that? Mm-hmm. Well, we all know now. Everyone knows about you. Mm-hmm. I bet everyone would like to see that you weigh 300 pounds, like I said, fat bastard, fatty fat. You always want to shame somebody. Why? Look at how you look. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Hmm. Those buggy eyes of yours, you bugged out of your mind. Crackhead galore. Mm-hmm. Wow, cracky. You know, you crackheads have had a good run. Unfortunately, I never smoke crack. It's whack. You know, you shouldn't do drugs. You shouldn't talk about people doing drugs when you're the main drug addict. Everyone knows. Cracked out of your damn mind. All's well, ends well. And well, for you, it's the end. Where's your career? How you gonna make a comeback now? <laughs> you can't even get in your bank account. <laughs> Who has your money? <laughs> Who has your money, darling? You're so rich. Where is it? You're almost out of cash. You do realize the people that hang around you, your handlers, they set you up. Clearly. That's why they're all exposing you. Exposing how weak and frail you are. Aren't you the frail one? Looking kind of frail there, sir. But Wendy, Wendell, how come you haven't told everyone the truth? That you are a man. That you're a prostitute. That you're a cokehead. That you're a drunky drunk. All the time on the set. People can't even understand you. You can't even talk right. You're incoherent because you're a cracky. And I wouldn't have a problem against you crackheads if y'all want to smoke that glass pipe all your life. But you can't blame me for it. And you can't say that I'm the one doing it. Because that's y'all favorite claim to fame. Whenever someone exposes y'all, all of a sudden, they're a crackhead. They're crazy. No, you're the crackhead. You're crazy. And your little friends. Where are your friends at? This is J. Jill, by the way. I have a lot of J. Jill clothes. They make good designs. So, crackies. How do you feel getting taken down by the comfort of my home? I don't even have to go anywhere and see y'all anymore. Praise the Lord. And you call yourself, you know, why don't y'all you, you clean your homes? So dirty. I'm not your housekeeper anymore. See, that's the thing. You celebrities, I used to clean your houses. You're filthy. I used to babysit your children. You guys are child abusers. And I even used to take care of your animals, your cats, your dogs, your chickens, all that shit. I refuse to now. You know, it's funny. I have a lot of clothes I'm going to be giving away. Size 16s and 18s. I don't need them anymore. So... Well, a person can always lose weight. You can't hide, you can't change ugly. You can't hide ugly, especially when you're ugly on the inside. It shows. No matter how much makeup they put on that ugly man-looking face of yours, you always be a man. No matter how much testosterone, estrogen shots you take, you will always be a man. Now, if you're so comfortable in your truth. Live it. Keep your mouth shut. Instead of talking about people all the time and lying, defaming them. You know, Judge Mathis should sue your ass for defamation. Everyone should sue you for defamation. Because that's all you're known for. 
defaming people so you can get a little fortune and fame. Where's your fortune? Where's your fame? Is it gone? Did the real queen bee show up and take all your shit? Hmm, I sure did. So, I would highly recommend, look, you wanna see this Paul? Paul French Bakery? Used to be in Bethesda, Maryland. Where's your store? And Nicole. And Nicole of Cole Hospitality. You see how this says trainee? But you hired uh, Alan Cooper, who allegedly was in the Navy. No, he wasn't. Was he in the Navy like Hunter Biden said he was in the Navy? Because Hunter Biden couldn't pass his uh, drug test. The Navy is not going to accept you, Cracky. But of course, he gets a discharge. Well, because he has discharge, green. Mm -hmm. So all I want to say to y'all, how does it feel? You can't be all around this country using my identification. Pretending to be me. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I want to know. I really want to know. Who's laughing now? Who's laughing the hardest? Who's living their best life? Yeah, me. Who actually has children? Me. And you bitches have no lives. Cause you're men. Men, 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 men. You're not even black, wow. Is this all for your black boyfriend? Or is it for your zaddy? Which one is it? <laughs> I mean, I just can't keep up with you prostitutes. But you can't be in my community. Can't follow me around. Can't get angry. Want to start stuff with me everywhere I go. Just so that way people think I'm angry. Nope. Violent. Nope. None of these things. Y'all are terrorists. Terrorists. That's all you are. And who cares about you? Nobody. The government doesn't care about you. The military doesn't care about you. And I bet you, you've probably pissed off some law, law enforcement officers, some real ones. You know, because your attitudes are so nasty. And your behavior is so trashy. So stop imitating me. Stop copying me. And stop getting your dirty asses on TV and the radio just for a few funky dollars to pretend to be me. I want to know, like, wow, where's your personality? Supposed to be a TV personality. Where is your personality? You have none. I can do a lot of things. I'm very talented. And I owe my success to the Lord, not to some dirty little demon. Ha uh ha. -huh. That's why I prosper and you always struggle because I refuse to struggle. If I have to get out here and work five jobs, I do it. I'm just smart. I can work remotely. I can do a number of things. I don't have to work in an office. I don't have to work at the courthouse anymore. I don't have to do a lot of things because I did all these things. And even in all my careers, I had side hustles, I had side jobs. I love to shop. I like my family to go on vacation. So it is hard work and dedication and having a good worth ethic and being willing to listen and learn. That is how you will be successful. Do not waste your time trying to get rich off YouTube, right? Use YouTube as your platform to make your own brand, to have your own website, like I do, to have your own blogs, like I do. And now I think I am going to be a, uh, what do you what do you guys call it these days? A podcaster. Because before podcasts became so creative, we had people on the radio, like NPR, because I took a tour of that studio. That's why I like journalism. That's why I like being on TV to talk about things, right? Because I had mentors. CQ Roll Call, The Hill, WAPO, Baltimore Sun, uh, Chicago Tribune, New York Times, New York Post, San Diego Tribune, so forth and so on. And I didn't sell my soul. I didn't compromise my ethics. 
I didn't compromise who I am as a person. I think that is the most important thing. That when you realize you have been lied to, pick an exit strategy and leave with your dignity intact. Leave with your soul intact. So I told you all, fuck y'all. I'd rather be a stay-at-home mother any day. I would rather just be a regular person. I don't need fortune and fame. Y'all do. I don't need the attention. I don't want the attention. That's why I've asked y'all kindly, stop stalking. Stop copying. I don't care if you copy me. You know why? Because I'll sue you and I'll take everything that you have. So if you steal a, a idea and it's called intellectual property, you can get sued. If you steal a company, you can get sued. You steal out of my house, you will get sued and prosecuted. But I know Crooked Joe is going to come to the rescue. He's going to get his darlings out because he needs y'all. He needs your votes, <laughs> clearly. Who the hell is voting for Creepy Sleepy Joe? So then that's why he figures I need to just let them all in so you can convert them into voters. I find that it's illegal for anyone that is not a U.S. citizen to vote in an election. And yet D.C. has already passed legislation earlier this year. Look it up. So you don't think people are coming to steal your job? You don't think they're coming to steal your home? That they are coming to steal everything they ain't nailed down to the damn floor? They are. Don't blame me. I didn't let them in. I told y'all, you need to run people's background check regardless of where they come from. Don't be racist at the border. Don't be racist with TSA and Homeland Security. But y'all are. Because I see the uh, people that are doing these jobs and you're holding other people back. You're even holding your own people back. You know, I went to a place called, I think it's Rachel's Place in San Diego. 211 sent me because I want to know why all these homeless, why are these women in the street homeless and that these men are putting on dresses and taking away resources from them taking away shelter from them. And then I pop up at the shelters like Father Joe's or Alpha Project. And sure enough, it is men in dresses just like the women told me. Even the men told on y'all because they are tired. Yeah, you're making men look bad. I don't hate men. Sorry, y'all might hate men because you can't get one. You can't get one that's sane and decent. That's not my problem. And I have seen how you men get all angry in the workplace. And you want me to rise up against a man who hasn't done anything to you, who hasn't done anything to me. Why? Because you need some money. I remember, you know, this happened at uh, Pete's Coffee. I'm going to tell y'all real quick while I'm finishing my laundry. A lot of employees don't want to do their job. They don't want to show up to work on time. They don't want to be respectful. They want to fight each other in a store. And I'm like, how are you still here? I read the reviews and everyone was saying how, you know, these managers are nasty. They're rude. And, you know, they cuss. They're ghetto. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, my first day on the job, these bitches were nasty. I told you, I only work there for the money for camp. Summer camp is not uh, cheap. Try thousands of dollars. And I can quickly make that in a month <laughs> and pay their whole entire tuition because I have a good attitude. That's why I got all the tips and y'all didn't get shit. And then you want to steal the money out of the tip jar. So I was on to you. I asked the company, why do I have to share my tips with everyone else when these managers don't even work for it they just stand around with their arms like this trying to give out orders go do your fucking job so then i have to do the manager's job no i'm not doing this shit do your job and then i tell the company i'm out of here and they tell me pete's coffee because y'all are busted next from california Oh, Alfred Pete would be rolling in his grave if he knew what you were doing to his company. 
and you're hiring anybody. I got sick out of all of these places that are supposed to have food safety, like Paul French Bakery. Where is your store in Bethesda? Bethesda Row? It's not there anymore. Ha uh ha. -huh. Your store in Tyson's is next. Because I worked at the Tyson store. And you bitches were horrible. Alan Cooper. Mm-hmm. All of you. So, Anna Cole from New Jersey. How you doing? Because I know it's you. You hire anyone that you think you can take advantage of. So, I'm going to tell you how I came to rescue the Mexicans in the workplace. And I had to rescue the Asians and I had to rescue the white people because there was only a few black people there. And they all wanted to gang up against me. Cause y'all are bed wenches. You take a few funky little dollars to turn on somebody. Be careful who you turn on. They might turn on you. A few funky little dollars. Like Candace Baker. Candace, you still working at Starbucks? You still on the phone talking to your children? Yeah, right. You can't even do your job. Calls himself a barista at Starbucks. The fuck you doing working for Paul? That's a conflict of interest. They didn't care. So it's funny to me. I'm going to tell y'all why Paul French Bakery, <laughs> you're, you're, all your stores are about to get shut down. You have one on K Street, correct? Still selling your ass on K Street, like I told everyone. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all really quickly in the next video about Paul French Bakery. Parlez-vous Francais. You're not even French.